Now let me explain what I mean by this. Well shit guys, they're coming for you! They're coming for you! Hello everyone, this is Charlie Man Ugh! Damn it, I can't see a thing in this. I'm not talking about what homophobes think about gay marriage, which frankly isn't privilege, it's equal rights. True, it is about equal rights. It is about equal rights. It's not a privilege. Privilege would be something like us gays not paying taxes, like churches don't. Thank you Ricky Gervais for that quote. Very true, that is a privilege. Sadly, you're going to degenerate into stupid feminist bullshit, aren't you? If you kept up to date with my vlogs last week, you would have noted that I was watching the show Transparent. Well, I've now finished the show, and for a variety of reasons, I love this show, but for something in particular, the reason I love this show is because it doesn't delve into the cliche that most shows go into around sexuality. It actively avoids gay men. Surely that's a bad thing. Inclusivity and all that. Huh. Ooh, I might, uh, I might be covering the wrong video. Uh, uh, this is weird. And I actually respect it for this because it focuses more on the often forgotten about people of the LGBT community, i.e. lesbians, bisexuals and transgender people. I hate to break it to you, but lesbians are in almost every kind of genre of TV imaginable. There's like a lesbian couple in every soap. There's... Or at least one lesbian character who's single, I don't know. There's also loads of bi characters too. Transgender people are the only ones where there's not a lot of them, but hey, there's not a lot of them in real life either. As far as I know, there are as many lesbian characters as there are gay characters on TV, at least in Britain. I don't know what it's like where you live, but I think you might be a bit wrong there, and you're kind of putting some unnecessary blame on gay men. I think you're being quite harsh on your own people, bro. You may have noticed that in mainstream media or in mainstream TV shows, whenever homosexuality is depicted, it is gay men. Predominantly white gay men as well. I don't know if you've noticed, but Australia, or New Zealand, I don't know which one you are, uh, there tends to be a lot more white people than minorities, and therefore that is reflected in the LGBT community. Most of them are likely to be white, and therefore there are more white actors who are gay or white gay characters on TV portrayed in the media. That's not everyone's fault, that is just what has happened in history and how your demographics are shaped over the last, what, 300 years? 400 years? So, it's not their fault and you seem to be assigning all this blame to the fact that they're white and they're gay. This is weird. This is like reverse social justice warrior hatred, like he hates himself because he's white and gay. This is a bit weird. People often don't think that the others exist as an identity, which is ridiculous. People look at lesbians and go, oh, well, you're just experimenting, that's okay, and that's sort of been accepted over decades and decades. Um, no, citation needed. I think you'll find that everybody knows that these types of people exist. You have to live under a rock or be a hermit in a desert to not realise that lesbians, bi people and trans people exist. It's patently obvious that they exist and they are referenced in our media and in our myths. I mean, let's just look at ancient Greek culture, alright? That shit is just like sex, 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 sex. It doesn't matter who they're fucking. So, you know, uh, apart from that, it's just it's like we know they exist. They are reflected in our media regardless and it's clear to me that you've not been watching a lot of Australian slash New Zealand TV or whatever, I don't know what kind of TV you watch, it's obvious you don't watch enough because they're probably overrepresented in fact. And I don't think people treat lesbians as people who are experimenting, if anything isn't that what bi people are treated like? I don't know, this is probably my anecdotal experience and my Yiannopoulos will not be happy with an anecdotal experience. People look at bisexuals and go, well, what are you, gay or straight, make a decision, no. I've also heard people call them greedy, and that's straight and gay and lesbian calling these people that. But nobody's saying you need to make a decision to them, as far as I know, unless they're bigots. No one who is a normal person who has no prejudice is saying that shit, okay? You, but again, social justice warriors, everything is racist, everything is sexist, but everything's homophobic, and you've got to point it all out. They're bisexuals, and if you ask me, they're actually the people that are most in touch with their sexuality. You don't know that. How do you know that? What if they're just as confused as some other people are? I'm pretty much in tune with my sexuality. I know what I'm like. You seem to know what you like. I don't know. But to say that bisexual people are the most in tune? No. 
I don't buy that citation needed. And transgender people, it seems most of society still doesn't understand them, myself included in that category once upon a time, but I'm making a conscious effort to know more. As we all are, and the problem is, ye social justice warriors are making it hard for everyone. Everyone! And even though the LGBT community is a minority group, the gay men of that group seem to be the privileged of the pack. This is what I've noticed. I know that you yourself are gay, but that doesn't mean that you're right. And just because I'm straight doesn't mean I can't tell you that you're wrong. You see, you don't know that. You can't prove that. Again, it's all anecdotal bullshit from you. Like, oh, I've noticed the gay men are the most privileged lot of uh, the LGBT community. You couldn't be more wrong. Lesbians are more privileged, really, if you think about it. How many lesbians were genuinely persecuted by the law during the days when homosexuality was illegal? Not a lot. In fact, as we well know, straight men love lesbians. They find it hot. Even though, as we've seen, a lot of lesbians don't particularly like straight men. Mostly the feminist ones. Normal ones don't care. But, you know, I have to make that distinction. Gay men were the ones who were routinely, and still are, in many backward countries around the world, locked up, killed, name it, you know, Alan Turing. He had a far worse experience than many lesbians in his time, trust me. But hey, gay men are apparently the most privileged, despite probably being the most oppressed, historically speaking, but <laughs> whatever. Even within the LGBT community, there seems to be an attitude that gay men are the important ones. Citation needed. You do not know how individuals think and feel within your own community about people like you. You just don't. You're just asserting. So many gay guys I know don't want anything to do with lesbians, have a similar attitude towards bisexuals unless they can get something out of it. So some gay men don't like lesbians or bi people and vice versa. So what? Again, you did actually forget to mention vice versa. It does go both ways, you do know that. That does not mean that gay men are privileged. As I've said, historically speaking, they were the most oppressed out of all of them. At least a bisexual person, when homosexuality was illegal, could always get with a woman. And a lesbian probably had more privilege because she was a woman and the straight man would find it incredibly hard to see two women fucking to let her, you know, slide, let her discretion slide. That's they do with straight women too when they're doing something nefarious. But gay men, oh, horrible, evil. Evil. It's in the Bible, don't forget. It's in the Quran. It was in law, and it's still in law in many countries around the world. Gay men are not liked. By bigots, especially. And make no effort to understand transgender people. So, you don't need to necessarily understand them. You just need to, you know, treat them like humans. And maybe just get along with them. You know, I don't know. Look, some gay guys are bigots. And? And I can raise my hand and openly admit that I am guilty of this. But if I do it now, I hate myself. So it's projection then. You have projected what you used to be onto a generalisation of all gay men in your community. And now apparently they're the most privileged. Because you think that you were privileged because you harboured bigoted feelings. You do not like the fact that as a minority member of a minority group, you held bigoted opinions towards people within your group and you don't like it, so you're projecting. Now I know where all this comes from. Just embrace them and understand them. The more you use categories to try and understand things, particularly sexuality, the more you're going to stress about trying to understand the LGBT community. Don't Yet you just categorised gay men as a privileged class within the LGBT community. Please practice what you preach. Don't use categories. They are people, they exist, that's it. But gay guys? Oh, they're privileged, because they're male and gay, innit? <laughs> Fuck them. Have you ever been guilty of or observed this gay male privilege before? I can't be guilty of it because I'm straight, but I have never observed it ever. Ever, ever, ever. Historical facts have shown me that gay men were probably more oppressed than any of them put together. Seriously, you know? But hey, whatever. Don't let the facts get in the way. Don't let your fee-fees get overruled. Let me know below and let's get a good discussion going. There is no such thing as gay privilege, white privilege, white passing privilege, any of these fucking privileges other than wealth privilege. And maybe, you know, during things like apartheid and segregation where there was actual privilege, maybe then that existed. But not anymore. And I don't think there ever has truly been something like that. And there never will be. It's just a load of bullshit. This guy's projecting his insecurities of his past self onto other fellow gay people and he's making them all look bad and it just shows how social justice and feminism works. They will stab you in the back when you're no longer necessary for the cause. 
Have a good day, people.